Here we go. My name is Betty Svensson. My stroke occurred on 8-8 of 08. Does that Remember? hurt at all? No. Initially, I could not walk and talk at the same time. I could do one or the other. Betty's playing an augmented reality game that has been developed by students and researchers at CSU's Departments of Engineering and Occupational Therapy. She needs to use her left arm and hand much more, and she needs to make it part of her life. And we're really encouraging her, or you might say sort of forcing her through the games to use and move that arm and hand. Pong is the game where I get aggressive <laughs> and just really take it as a personal challenge. The body gets into it, everything gets into it. The computer games, the perfect illustration by the tiniest movement of my hand or my fingers, <laughs> I can achieve something on that screen. And then I start out slowly and I can get faster and I can get more accurate. I mean, that's a big win-win for me. Hey, look, Betty, you got the high score. Yay! <laughs> Yay, and you made it harder and faster. That's right. Yeah, yeah, you're on the hardest setting that there is. When I first saw Betty and some of the other patients using the system, it definitely changed my perspective because when I would just be coding in my room and making the games, I'd be like, okay, this, this could work, and I'd kind of try and like move my arms slowly and limit myself to see how it was. And then once I saw actual people using the system, I was like, okay, this is actually like people are using it. It's really helpful for them. We need to change this so it can be easier for them to move their hand left and right, push, pull, pitch and yaw, that sort of stuff. So it was a rewarding experience. My main interest was in trying to empower these people, try to give them, them some sense of, of uh, being able to control their therapy give them some more options for therapy and try to reduce the cost for their therapies. It's important for the, the people I do know that have had strokes. We need to see that other people have improved even after that first year when they say we aren't going to improve anymore. We're kind of living proof that that is very incorrect. So even after six, almost seven years, I'm still improving maybe teeny tiny amounts, but I am improving. New high score. Yay! <laughs>